Hi, my name is Nikki, and last week this really weird thing happened to me. Um, I went viral for dropping a cup of juice on my cat. The world is so weird. Um, but the reason it went viral is because I recently got this really cool prosthetic hand and I am trying in real time to learn how to use it. And I've lived my whole entire life without my left hand. So learning to all of a sudden have two hands is a really hard thing. Um, anyway, that doesn't matter. What does matter is the fact that I've decided that the easiest way to answer a lot of questions I've been receiving is actually to make a couple of videos and um, share my thoughts and my feelings and mechanically how does this work. Um, just kind of there's a whole gamut of things that people have continued to ask me over and over and over again. So this is my attempt to do that. So here's how we're starting. Today, who the heck am I and why do you care? Right? So my name is Nicole Kelly. I'm 27 years old. Um, in 2013, I went and I won Miss Iowa, which allowed me to go to Miss America. And this crazy thing happened. What happened is after I won, it blew up in the news that a disabled girl was going to Miss America. And never in my life, I was 23 when I won, never in my life had anybody used the word disabled to my face. It was not the way I identified and I went to Miss America really shook up and really not ready because all of a sudden people were calling me something that I did not identify as. Um, so Miss America was great. I had a lot of feelings. Um, I felt really alone because I had not found a community of people who are like me yet. But fast forward through that, um, Miss America allowed me to really find a whole community of people who are like me. I proudly learned what it means to be a disabled person living in the world. And although I'm very able without my prosthetic hand, still the world treats me differently and I am part of a marginalized community. So I became really active um, in kind of the disability world and coming out of Miss America and being Miss Iowa, for two whole years, it was my full-time job to travel and speak. I've spoken at elementary, middle, high school, colleges, and universities literally across the nation from California all the way over to the East Coast in New Hampshire. Um, absolutely loved it. Decided that what I wanted to do next was find a way um, to be in the news because I hated the way that the news talks about people with disability. It's always a conversation um, about pity and oh good for you it's you only have one hand but oh, isn't that really cool that you still got to go to Miss America that happened to me right um, so I decided I wanted to change that from inspiration to informational because there's a lot of things we need to tell you how can you know how to treat us or what our level of needs are unless we are telling you that is our responsibility that is our job so I decided that I wanted to put my voice in the mix. So I just graduated from journalism school, huzzah! And you know what's really funny about that? The first thing you learn in journalism school is never to be the story. <laughs> I really screwed that one up, but I, here we are. I don't know. Um, so going forward, I just will uh, be sharing more about my life with you, more about how things work, what's going on. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you a little intro to my life and my background and where I come from so you understand that um, I'm here with content and I am here as a person on a mission. And sure, I, I will be posting videos of me messing up and dropping juice, hopefully not often, but that's really not my main goal here and I would love to learn with you in real time. So don't be a jerk, love animals, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.